happy saturday guys i am just on my way to boots i need to print off some pictures because tonight is the night where we are celebrating my friend's 30th again but tonight we're actually giving her presents and me and my other friend carla have arranged something which i can say now because she i won't be posting this today and it's tonight but i'm basically going to print off some pictures to either try and hang from the ceiling or put on the wall of just pictures of me her and carla and i'm gonna do them all in black and white i think because the theme is sort of like black and gold we've got her a heart cake that she really wanted um saying 30 baby on it and that's black i can't remember what that is carla's in charge of that i think it was black and cream or black and gold but it's black and something and we're just putting on a little spread so i'm going to get some like camembert some picky bits some prosecco and yeah we've got some cute little gifts um i've got a couple just from me and then we've got a group present with two other girls as well and we're going to give her that we've basically done like 30 presents because she's 30 so we've got this big hold all bag from katie loxton with her initials on it and then we've filled it with 30 presents for her to open which i'm really excited to give her and yeah i just think it'll be really nice and then i have booked her a river cruise for when we're in paris if you watched my video before you'll know that beth bought me paris for my birthday and we're going in like four weeks so i've booked a river cruise which takes you past all of the main hot spots of paris you can get some really nice like pictures like with the eiffel tower in the background the arc de triomphe is that what it's called and you just go past like the different landmarks and i just think yeah it'll be lovely and i've seen really like good tiktoks about it and the good thing about it is you can book it but you don't have to book a time slot so i was thinking like a good time to go would be just before sunset so we can get some pictures like when it's lighter but also when the sun's setting because it is an hour on there so i've booked that for her and then i've got some earrings because me and beth are just into the same earrings and we love earrings and changing them up so i got her those i need to pick up some balloons and we're all just going to be wearing pajamas just having a little slumber party i've banished jamie upstairs so luckily if any of the kids do wake up jamie's upstairs anyway and can deal with it whilst we're downstairs and i'm just really excited so i'm on my way now and i thought i'd just take you along with me to get these little bits of little errands i'm child free my mum's at home with the kids so i'm just running around picking bits up I may or may not be getting a cheeky little double cheeseburger because I am hungry. It's seven minutes past one and all I've eaten today is a coffee. It's all I've had and I'm hungry and I've got things to do. So we've been to Boots, we've got the pictures printed off. I've been and got some decorations and some paper plates and a bag for the Prosecco. I've got like a little label printed out with a name on it saying happy 30th to stick onto a bottle of Prosecco. So I need to remember the bottle of Prosecco to stick that onto. And then I just need to go and get some food. I need to get some food. I'm gonna go to Aldi. I need to pop to B&M as well. So I'm gonna bob there and yeah. I'm doing so well so far. I've managed to get some nice little gold paper plates. A little happy birthday. A little backdrop for the wall. Let's celebrate. Hang on, I'm just about to pay for my burger. Thank you very much, thank you. Everyone needs a bit of McDonald's in their life when they're running errands. Also, it's absolutely boiling today. It's 20 degrees. 20 degrees like I'm really hot
<laughs> oh, my man. Cheers. Cheers. Good morning, it's Tuesday and it's nine o'clock. I'm just on my way to town because I need to take some stuff back to Primark. I need to pop into New Look and have a look in there to get some little bits for my... Can't get my words out. Get some little bits for my next haul. And today I've got Albie off school. After two weeks of the Easter holidays, yesterday, went back to nursery. And when I picked him up, they said he fell asleep for 45 minutes, which he never does when he's there. And he was looking pale. And then he fell asleep when he got home last night. And he woke up for about two hours, but then slept through till eight this morning. And he said his ears hurting. So instead of sending him to get a phone call later on saying, come pick him up, I've just kept him off, giving him some cow Paul. He doesn't have a high temperature or anything, but he just says his ear hurts. He's not eating much breakfast or anything. So I don't want to send him and yeah, if he's not feeling too great. So Jamie's going to work about half 10. So I'm just getting my little bits done before he goes to work and then it's quite frustrating because I wanted to get out of the house today even if it was to like a play gym with Emmy because yeah I just I hate sitting in all the time and I worked yesterday at home and I was sat in all day and today I just wanted to get up and out but it is what it is. We have to just get on with it, <coughs> we just have to get on with it don't we? So yeah, I'm going to go there, I need to drop a couple of vintage parcels off and then I think my mum, because my mum's off today, well, she's off this afternoon, hopefully she'll come round for a bit and keep me company because Jamie's not going to be home till probably like 10 tonight, so yeah, it's all fun and games. I'm absolutely exhausted, like I know I've mentioned already that I've had this like cold cough for the last few weeks, but it's literally knocked me out like i've still got it i still feel tired and not 100 percent. and yeah i'm just feeling a bit run down to be honest hi guys it's another day now it's wednesday and it's about quarter to 12. i've literally been running around like a headless chicken this morning just getting stuff done um had some parcels to take back Spencer's got forest school tomorrow so I've had to go and get him some waterproofs make sure he's got some wellies that fit him and bits and bobs for that get a bit of shopping just like you know stocking up on like snacks and yogurts and fruit and stuff so I've just been to Asda and I managed to get Spencer his stuff for forest school and shopping whilst I was there so that was good and took my parcels back i've been meaning to send a parcel that i ordered um from new look like three weeks ago and i just kept forgetting about it and then i remember today so i've sent that today and then now i'm at home i've just made myself a latte and i'm gonna sit down hopefully for half an hour watch telly whilst i have this then have some dinner and then I really need to sort out some vintage parcels. I need to get loads on vintage. I've got so much to sell, bags and bags full to be honest, that I need to just get rid of. It's just the thought of doing it which is making me like, ugh, but I need to do it. And yeah, that's about it for today. Emmy's just napping. I actually managed to transfer her from the car. She woke up a little bit but I put her back down and she went straight back to sleep, which never normally happens like there's it's not often i have to transfer her to be honest i'm either out long enough for her to nap in the car or we're at home for a nap anyway so yeah bless her she's fast asleep now so i'm gonna enjoy this coffee put a bit of youtube on probably and yeah catch up with you in a bit little miss girl just woken up mm. tasty <laughs> Did 
just woken up from your nap. Have you woken up from your nap? I have to ignore Pepper in the background, but I thought I'd just come on and show you some bits I got from New Look because there's some gorgeous little bits in there at the minute. It's sort of spring summery vibes and it's it's really good. So I thought I'd show you what I got. So I picked up first of all this like linen maxi skirt. What I love about this is it's got a tight waist, which I think will be so flattering on. So it's got like the tie at the waist there and it's like a linen material rather than satin and I just love this colour. I think it'll just look really nice with like a white basic top and some trainers or some sandals or you could also dress it up with some heels. I'd probably pair it with like gold jewellery, gold bag and heels and this was $19.99 which I didn't think was a bit bad at all. And then I did see it in the beige as well, so I thought I'll just pick up the beige as well because it's a nice spring summer sort of colour and yeah, I just really like the look of it, so I picked it up in that one as well. Next up is this crochet, this would be more for holiday because it's sort of like a cover up. I am going away, not till October, but I have just picked up these bits to do a haul over on my Instagram. So some of the bits I won't keep, I'll be sending back. But I picked up this crochet. It's got like a scooped back, which is really nice, and then ties. And this is sort of just above the knee. I really like the wide sleeves. I don't know about you, but there's just something about like a wide sleeve that I think is really like flattering on and just like makes an outfit a little bit nicer. And this was $23.99. Then I got this striped top. I thought that this would just look really nice with like some blue jeans or black jeans. But yeah, it's a really nice thick material, like really thick as well. So I really like the quality of this one. And this one was 90, no it wasn't. I keep looking at the euro. This is 15.99. Then my love for crochet continues. I absolutely, I'm really enjoying crochet at the minute. I think it's a really nice sort of springy material style. Yeah, I really like it. So I got this little top, which would look so nice with so many things on holiday or not. I would wear this as well. And that was $15.99. And then the last one I picked up was this like knitted top. So it's kind of like a waistcoat. Here. And what I liked about this is that it's not too structured. It's a really soft like brushed material. I just thought it would look nice with like a couple of buttons undone at the bottom with some wide leg jeans or some shorts and yeah I just thought it was really nice colour as well because I just I love a neutral and that was 15 99 as well so yeah those are just like the little bits that I picked up I am gonna do a little reel over on my Instagram so if you want to see them tried on or how I style them then head over there and yeah not up to much else today Emmy had a good few hours nap so I managed to get quite a few little bits done. I've also been watching Paris vlogs because me and Beth are going to Paris in like three weeks-ish, which I'm really excited for. So I went about nine years ago with Jamie and I haven't been since. And I've always, always wanted to go on a girl's trip to Paris because I think girls can just appreciate getting the content, all the pretty places and it's just a nice, cute little girly trip. So I've just been watching loads of vlogs for that, writing loads of bits down. We're trying to do an itinerary because we don't want to be all over the place. We want to know exactly where we're going. We don't want to waste any time and make sure we go to the places that we want to go, basically. But yeah, I'm having another coffee because for some reason today I'm absolutely freezing. I just can't warm up. I've also got a banging headache and I think that's down to the fact I've got my hair scraped back today, which I haven't done in ages, but it needs washing. So I scraped it back, but it is giving me a headache. But I need to do the school run in like an hour, so there's no point taking it all down. I might as well just wait till I get back. And then I do need to soon put on um, slow cooker tea because Jamie's coming home about half five and then he's going running and he won't be back till probably about half eight. And I might wait to eat till then or nearer then. And obviously with a slow cooker, you can leave it like to warm. But last time I did this with this specific meal. Mom, more quizzes. 
Mama, Crispy's darling. Um, yeah, last time I'm basically making marry me chicken in the slow cooker. If you don't know what that is, go on board with lunch on Instagram and it's his recipe. And wow, it is my favourite meal. It's basically like chicken in red pesto with like basil, oregano, um, chicken stock. I can't remember what else you put in there, like onion, garlic, with some double cream and that like marinates and obviously cooks in the slow cooker and then I have it with rice and broccoli and it is really, really nice, really nice. But last time I did it, I cooked it for the right amount of time, but it was ready for like five and I kept it warm in the slow cooker till half eight, till Jamie got home. But the sauce evaporated a bit and I had to keep like adding a bit of cream, bit of water, so that it had some sauce left. So I decided today I'm gonna to just cook it a little bit later. And then I might have mine about seven once the kids are in bed and then Jamie can have his when he gets back then. But yeah, I, apart from that, won't be doing much else today. Luckily Jamie is off now after today for the rest of the week till Monday, which is so nice because we were literally saying last night we don't even see each other we haven't even seen each other properly for the last few weeks like jamie's been working a lot i've been obviously doing stuff but because it's been the holidays i feel like i've just been alone a lot i have struggled to be honest like i literally said to my mum yesterday i was like i feel like i've been trapped in this house like even though i've been out and i've done stuff which i have in the holidays i think because jamie's not here i've just felt alone and Sometimes it could feel a bit like Groundhog Day and like it's got me down a bit. I felt in a bit of a rut. I've sat and thought like, what do I need to change to get myself out of this rut? Like, it's just, it's been a lot. But I think it was just the school holidays that got the better of me. It's very full on. It's a lot. And now I need to just look forward to the plans that I've got. Obviously, we've got Paris coming up. I'm actually going to... <coughs> I'm actually going to stay over in a gorgeous Airbnb in Cheshire with three other girls who I've met through Instagram. I've met two of them before. The other one I've spoke to for absolutely years. She used to have her own brand and she used to gift me stuff. She was the first person to ever gift me stuff and she's so lovely. And we're all going to stay there so Kirsty invited us along and I'm really looking forward to it there's some things that they've potentially got planned whilst we're there which sound really exciting and yeah so I do have a few fun things in the pipeline we're going to try and take the kids somewhere this weekend I don't know whether we're going to go to we might go swimming because Emmy's never been swimming she's 16 months now and we just haven't been swimming with it yet so might actually go swimming or just do something obviously with the kids on saturday seeing as jamie's off but yeah i'm going to stop babbling on because i am babbling on i'm going to have my cappuccino and wait for the school run and then go pick up the kids from there Ma. Ma. you can see them can't you you want some more you want some more skips There you go. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Emmy? Who's that? You want Muzzy? Oh, Muzzy. Oh, Muzzy. Who's that? Who is it? Where's Mummy? same day i'm just doing tea it's about 10 past eight jamie's on his way back home from his run and i've got broccoli on the rice on i ended up putting it in the oven instead because i just thought it's easier it only takes 45 minutes in the oven so yeah and then i can keep an eye on it and make sure it's not Evaporating the sauce, I'm just put some more water in the broccoli and the rice. So I don't want 
want it to go. Oh, forgot even to put the rice on. But yeah, I had a banging headache earlier, like absolutely banging. So when the kids got back, luckily my mum was here because Jamie goes running with my mum's partner and they go somewhere in Home Firth, which is near us. It's like a running club, bless them. So my mum was here, so she helped with the kids and stuff because it's just mental at tea time and getting them to bed and everything else and had some paracetamol and lots of water and luckily my head's feeling a lot better now. So I'm gonna have some tea and then I'm gonna have a shower after, wash my hair and dry it. And I might put it in a heatless curler tonight so that it's done for tomorrow because I need to film a reel tomorrow, the new look reel of the bits that I showed you earlier. So yeah, I wanted to get this video. Oh my hair, it actually looks disgusting, doesn't it? It's so greasy. <laughs> Colours have you got? <laughs> Try and guess. Mm, pink. Mm, blue. Have you got a pink? Have you got a blue one? <gasps> and green. Another pink. Yeah. No, two blue. Yellow. Orange. <laughs> Show me then. See. Oh. You're going to eat it all up. And I've got a Mexican chicken bandit. If you know, you know, it's warmed up as well. Absolutely banging. Saturday today and we are going to water park <laughs> we're going swimming aren't we yes so we're I'm going gonna, to Barnes the Metrodome and we're now we're going to do a big splash thing. we splash first and Emmy's going to wear this wear that. and mansion oh. Oh. <laughs> so and, uh, where are we going now babe? A water park. Swimming. Swimming. And we're going to play hide and seek. Yeah. And if we tick each other, yeah. it's them turn. And whoever gets found last wins. So we're playing last to be found. Yeah, and then we're going to pretend trophy. Yeah. I just got my cup I of hope coffee. I hope I win. Um, our slot's at quarter past ten. It's about quarter nine now. We're going to set off about quarter past nine. So hard to put my hair back neatly with extensions because I've got nanos in and they just poke out. So it's the best I can do. But yeah, I've got my costume on ready. You're already yeah. with your swim shorts on. No, I'm having these on. We need to get Emmy up soon, don't I'm we? I'm having this one. You're wearing that? Yeah. I'm wearing those <laughs> shorts. These are mine. They are uh, blue. Uh, and these are the lovely pink ones. Mm. They're red, aren't they? They're not pink. I'm pretending they're pink. Oh, that one's pink. That's Emmy's going to put that on when we get there, isn't she? No, I am. Anyway, so we'll see you soon. So I, I will do the video at the water park. So see you soon. Bye.